welcome in this english question answer session now we are to deal with english textbook of standard 10th lesson second named nelson mandela long walk to freedom let us participate in it positively question c1 which twin obligations does mandela mention or what according to nelson mandela are a man's twin obligations answer according to nelson mandela every man has twin obligations the first obligation is to look after his family parents wife and children in the second obligation is to serve his people his community and his country now come to question number second question number c2 what did being free mean to mandela as a boy and as a student how does he contrast these transitory freedoms with the basis and honorable freedoms answer as a boy for mandela being free did not have much meaning as he thought he was born free he was free to do what he like he believed that as long as he obeyed his father and the rules of his tribe he was free in every way as a student mandela realized that the freedoms that he enjoyed as a child was an illusion and he was actually not free then he wanted the temporary freedom that existed only for his own self he wanted freedom to stay out at night read what he pleased and go wherever he wanted mandela contrasts these transitory freedoms with the basic and honorable freedoms now he wanted to achieve his potential earn his money marry and start his family these freedoms unlike the transitory freedoms revolved around himself as well as the people of his community this freedom existed without any racial discrimination now come to question number 3 question c3 does mandela think the oppressor is free why or why not answer mandela does not feel that the oppressor is free he thinks that the oppressor is a prisoner of hatred he is locked behind the bars of prejudice and narrow mindedness he feels that both the oppressor and the oppressed lack humanity